So you guys, it's not very often that I get to start off a video by saying Kabumon just dropped a brand new update. That's right. Kabumon version 1.4.1.1 has officially come out today, April 1st, 2024, and it is everything I have ever wanted and more. If, in my opinion, I think they could just stop touching the game, they could quit, go do something else with their lives, besides develop this mod because they peaked. And they can't do anything better. I cannot wait to get into the changelog with you guys and show you all the amazing things that they're doing for us. Uh, let, let's let's just start. Let's just start. The first thing I want to tell you guys is that the PC, pasture block, healing machine, link cable, and EXP share are all now significantly more expensive. Thank God. Because you have no idea how awful it is for everybody to have a PC except for me because I can't get the materials for it. Everybody to have EXP shares and higher level Pokemon than me because I can't get the materials for it. Now it is going to level the playing field where you have to work extra hard to get it. So those Joe Schmoes who are playing Cobblemon after school are no longer going to be beating us 9 to 5 workers. So we use just enough items to go look at these new crafting recipes and you're going to see it is, it is exactly what we needed. So for the PC you're going to need 4 iron blocks, 2 lightning rods, a link cable, tinted glass, and a redstone comparator. Now the link cable you can get with smithing templates, that's not super expensive, but we're now able to make a PC using that. So it might take you a little bit of play time, you know, to get a PC, uh, but for the the healing machine, you're going to need nether stars and end crystals. Uh, it's super easy to get. I mean, if you can't kill the wither, you shouldn't even be playing Minecraft. Uh, blocks of copper, two blocks of iron. I think it's very fair that's just one block of diamond. Uh, it's, it's a good, good. And then, you know, if we put some lumberries into our max potions, get a full restore, we'll be able to make the healing machine. I really like how they incorporated needing a healing item to make the healing machine back in the day. Uh, in, in, the, in the worst times... All you had to do was just throw some some glass and some metal together and you had it. But uh, now, well, let's move on. The pasture block will now require a PC and an observer. The observer, not that hard to get, but you will need a PC to get a uh, ranch block, which, you know, requires that. So there's that one. And then I want to show you lastly, the EXP share is the only held item that you can craft. And honestly, I think this is easier to get. It's two skulk catalysts, the verdant frog light, the pearlescent frog light and the ochre frog light and two end rods with a netherite helmet honestly the old crafting recipe it was kind of hard to make um, i've never made an exp share but i know for a fact that this i mean all this stuff's super easy to get you can find it all either in the nether in the overworld so or i guess in the end too either way you just travel all three dimensions and it should be super easy um, I really like this change. I'm glad the Cobblemon developers are finally finally balancing their mod because I feel like it was just too easy to get these things. And now that'll be a little bit more difficult. It, it should be better for everyone. This next change is one that I, I have actually personally been requesting for, for I, I don't know, at least the last year. And I, I'd like to think that maybe the Cobblemon, Cobblemon devs have uh, watched my streams or anything where I complained about this. All held and evolution items are no longer craftable and have been removed from overworld and nether loot chests. Instead, these items must now all be found with a 0.25% chance in end city treasure. Thank God, because if we were to go in here and look at any of the evolution items, you know, or the held items, I mean, they are just ruining the game with how they bring the competitive... Uh, so, this, this game's too competitive. This game's just about building and, and catching Cobblemon. But I did I did come to a ship. Again, it's a 0.25% chance. Um, I must have gotten really lucky because I got a peat block, a spell tag, a choice scarf, a whipped dream, and a metal power, and leftovers, and this plastic monster. God, good for him. I can go down there. Oh, no. Oh, man. Look at all this stuff. I got another whipped dream, a link cable. A deep sea tooth, a magnet, a toxic orb. So yeah, it looks like I, I got really lucky. So, uh, you know, that 0.25% chance I got about 10 items. So uh, hopefully you guys are as lucky as me. And uh, I just, I just, it goes without saying that the devs really outdid themselves with this change. Um, no longer are the days where you go to fight your rival and they have, uh, you know, a Snorlax with the leftovers and you can't kill it. Uh, because they got to be the Ender Dragon get the leftovers now. Thank God. Awesome job from the Kabamon devs. Uh, let's get into the next change. All right, the next change comes with the crafting recipes for uh, vitamins and X items. They've had their recipes removed and are now only obtainable via drops from certain rare 
Pokemon. Uh, this is awesome. Because you don't know how many times, I mean, I'm poor, I don't have time to grind the mod like everybody else on servers and stuff. You know how many times that everybody's got uh, fully perfect EV teams and they're spamming X items in the battle and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, but now thankfully, um, and, and this ties hand in hand with another change, is that Ditto uh, now spawns anywhere and has an expanded loot table. That loot table, let's see if my Rayquaza... Um, <laughs> Which might be a uh, might be a teaser for the next update since I have Rayquaza. Hint, hint, hint. Version 1.4.1.2 could bring Rayquaza. We don't know, but I got this level 98 Ditto. I'm able to take it out. Oh my gosh, he dropped me an X special defense. Yes, so the the vitamins and the X items can now be dropped from Ditto, who spawn everywhere. Um, this is awesome because now it levels the playing field where the no lifes. You know, they aren't the only ones hogging all the X items and all the vitamins. You know, us lowly people who work 9 to 5 jobs and play Kabumon in our free time are now able to keep up with the ever-evolving meta of Kabumon. Again, I've been asking for this change since day one. I mean, they introduced vitamins and I was already like, why can you craft these? That's ridiculous. It should be harder to get. Uh, but thankfully, now Ditto, a super rare spawn, is going to drop them. And for a little bit, Ditto's probably going to be more common, just so we can catch up. So, thank you so much to the common devs for that one. I need it personally. Next up, it is now more expensive to get agricultural items. They cost two times the uh, at minimum. This includes mulch, higher tier remedies, fairy juice, revives, and more. I'm not sure what the and more is. I'll have to play the mod uh, a bit more in its, in its new state. But it, it does cost, if we want to make a, a medicinal brew, you know, uh, this seems pretty normal. But all this stuff, it seems, yeah, a bit more expensive. Uh, let's look at the, the mulch and the berry juices. Let's see if I can... Yeah, they don't look all too too much harder to, to craft. You just need more more of each, uh, which is, you know, pretty fair. I feel the mulch was too overpowered and too good. I need, you know, eight mud instead of four. Um, and now let's see, where the where's the berry juice? Berry juice? Yeah, you need four berries in a bowl now. Very smart on their part because berry juice was too broken. And I'm glad they're finally nerfing all of these these uh, these awful things. But you also, big roots and energy roots must now be harvested with shears. Um, I'm not going to show you that. It's just pretty common sense. I mean, you shouldn't be able to just get stuff for free without paying a little bit of iron to do it. So, it's very glad they did that. Lastly, they've changed the recipe for all of the Pokeballs. Thank God. Now, no longer are the days where it's, you know... Uh, four apricorns to get you four pokeballs. Now you need six, you need two copper, and you're gonna need an apricorn button. So you're gonna actually have to mine down the trees now if you wanna make pokeballs, which is great because I do have a video showing a uh, the old way to get apricorns. If you wanna check it out, it should be right there. Uh, but now you're gonna actually have to mine your trees. Thank goodness. Um, of course, unless you're making um, a higher tier ball, you need a polished blackstone. Some of the some of the might need a dark oak button, uh, but I believe all the regular pokeballs. Oh, well, I guess those ones are different, but you know, uh, a dark oak button. But if you want regular pokeballs, you're you're gonna need the uh, the uh, apricorn button, which of course, since these balls are the best in the game, and this is the cheapest recipe for the best ball, you're gonna want to cut down your apricorn trees. Never save your apricorn trees. Always cut them down. And that pretty much wraps up the Cobblemon 1.4.1.1 update. Uh, thank you guys so much for learning about it with me. Uh, it's it's going to be a blast playing with it. I can't wait to uh, play with some friends and, and finally have a, a fair chance of, you know, getting a, uh, a, a uh, PC before them. And I'm, I'm really stoked. Again, thank you so much to the Cobblemon devs uh, for giving us access to this build. Um, it's just in a snapshot preview now. Uh, if you guys want to put anything in their uh, Discord about what you like and don't like about this update, I would recommend doing that. You can also download it from their Discord, which is in the description. Uh, but, you know, honestly, if you guys want to band together and help me get it so that some of these crafting recipes might be a little more difficult, I think that would probably be a good idea. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like more videos like this. Uh, and 1.5 comes out. Obviously, I'll be making videos for the pre-release. But, uh, you know, we don't have anything quite yet. And, uh, you know, I've been Eerie. And you guys have a great day.